Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys a little bit about conditionals. Uh, so conditionals are the super important thing for controlling how your code runs or controlling what parts of your code will run uh, given certain conditions. As always, if you guys uh, feel like, you know, you see something you want to try out, go ahead and pause the video and go try it out. Uh, so here are conditionals. And so what they essentially do is they'll always start with this if and then there will be some condition that they check. And then if that condition is met, then it will run the code inside it. So to show you guys an example, if, so, so if Scratch Cat is touching the car, then we will have him say, ouch, for two seconds. And so when we, when, when we run this, what will happen? If he is touching the car like he is right now, nothing will happen because since he's, this condition is not met, it won't run this code. But if he is touching the car, he'll say, ouch. And so there's another kind of or thing that you can add to a conditional called an else. And the else is what will happen if he isn't touching the, or if that condition isn't met. So in this case, if he isn't touching the car, the code in the else block will run. So here we can just move this stuff over to the if because this is exactly the same. But we can add some other uh, action that will happen if he uh, is not touching the car. So in this case, let's have him glide to a random position if he's not touching the car. So let's click the green flag, and he, it, since he's touching the car, he'll say ouch, but when he isn't, what will happen is he'll just glide to a random position. So let's try this with a, a more complicated example. How about let's make a number guessing game? because that's really good for condition, conditionals because there will be three kind of outcomes that can happen with that. It's either, you know, you guess the number and it's that number and you win the game. You guess the number and it's too high, so we, we tell them it's too high. Or you guess the number and it's too low, so we tell them it's too low. So to do, do this, we'll start out by asking them, you know, uh, what is your guess? And then after that, this is where we'll have our conditionals to check the numbers. So we'll grab this if else block and we're gonna compare the numbers. So we're gonna see if the answer is more than what the number that we're thinking of. And so this is where we put in the number that, the, that we're thinking of. So for this example, let's do 12. We're thinking of the number 12. If that's, you know, if it's greater than 12, then what we'll say is that's too much. That's too much. And then if we have, you know, a number that's less than that, we'll say that's too little. But we've ran into a problem here. So right now we, we have two more kind of possible outcomes if it's equal or less than, but we only have one else. So what we can do to solve that is doing a thing called nesting. What nesting is, is that's putting another if else block in, in a single if else block so you can check more conditions or you can have more outcomes. So if we have, you know, compare this one, but we do, we do greater than this time. So if answer is greater than or uh, less than 12, we're, we're going to do that's too little. That's too little. And then the third one will be, you know, is if they're right. And if they're right, we don't we don't need to check to see if they're right because if it satisfied the if it didn't hit these other two conditions, then the number must be equal to the number that we're thinking of. So if that's the case, then we're gonna say, you got it. So let's try it out. Let's have some scratch here, and we're gonna he's gonna ask, what's your guess? And then we're gonna say, oh, let's try 15. That's too much. All right, so that worked, but then he stopped after one go. So we're gonna need something to have him ask multiple times if we aren't getting it right, to keep doing it until we do. So what's a way that we could do that repeatedly? You know, you may have learned this in a previous video. Are you guys thinking of a forever loop? That seems like it'll work to me. Let's try it now. What's your guess? Let's do 15 again. That's too much. Okay. How about let's try something less? How about eight? That's too little. Okay, 
Let's try it now, but let's actually try guessing 12, and this will be the right answer. We got it, yay. I hope you guys had fun learning about conditionals. I encourage you guys to go try out the challenge problems and just try experimenting on your own and seeing what you can do with them. That's all for now.